Hi everybody, welcome today. I want to talk about walls, the walls that we create after we've come out of abuse and we will all have them. You'll have walls, I've had walls, I just keep trying to get rid of them. If you've been abused by people, you will have these, I call them like imaginary or energetic walls around you and people will often feel the walls and sometimes you might have situations where something starts happening, feels like the abuse and the wall will actually come up even stronger. I can feel when I talk to someone if I'm going into a subject that they aren't comfortable with, they don't want to hear it, I can feel the wall come up and I'll actually say to them, do you want me to stop now? Because I can feel that you don't want to talk about this, the walls come up and that's okay. But what I want to talk today about is your walls, that you need to understand you've put walls up and you'll put them up all around your body. And wherever the abuse hits you, that's where the wall will be. And that's where it's a good place to go and let it go. So for example, if there was a lot of hitting around your head, it'll be a, you'll have walls around there. Like you would have put some kind of like imaginary or I call it energy wall personally, but you can see it as you see it. If you were uh, shut down, when you try to talk to the wall around your throat, if you were treated in a really, really unkind and brutal, unloving way, there'll be a wall around your heart because you don't want to get hurt anymore. There'll also be walls around your, where your stomach is. I call that the solar plexus. The wall around the solar plexus is to do with power. That's our power base and what we can digest. So you would have put a, a wall up there, which will maybe affect how you eat, your eating is and how your digestion works. And then the sexual areas like below and above the navel, we would put walls up there if there was anything happened there. And also at the back. So if we hit on the back, there'd be walls there right down to the lower back if people came from that direction at you. You need to understand that these walls were a good thing that you put up. It's kind of like protection we put up. And we do that instinctively. All humans will do that. I think even adult, I think even animals do it. But now you've got <laughs> a walking around person with tons of walls around them. Therefore, if people are trying to get close to you, it can be difficult because they will in some way sense the wall. I think you will know where your walls are if you start thinking about it because of the way you respond. And sometimes you can feel when you get threatened, you'll feel it in that part of your body, in that area. But I want you to let the walls down because they stop you from being all of you and you can reclaim yourself this way. Because while you've got a wall around it, you're not flowing properly in that area. If you have walls down near where your legs start, walls around all that area because of the sexual abuse, you might want to let go of those walls, let them go, like just see them and then let them go. You can have them above and below your navel, as I've just said. If you've got walls around power and control, either you are having to have too much power and control or you feel powerless because you'll often, of course, feel powerless when you're being abused, put that wall away because not everyone's going to do it to you now. And that's why we're doing it. There'll be people in your life who you don't have to have the walls with anymore, but you're walking around with the walls. The other one around the heart's really important and really interesting because that is your ability to love and give love, be loved, receive love. It's all going backwards and forwards. And if you have a wall up there because you got so hurt through it all, then you might want to do some work at letting that wall go and that will help you in all your love relationships with your family with your with your friends and with your partner because they will feel that wall the wall around the throat is really interesting you'll often find if you try and speak your voice goes funny or you can't speak and this wall is a quite a powerful one because you don't have a voice if you have a wall around your throat the ones around your head, they are usually from the mental, emotional abuse as well and psychological abuse. They can be also that you got hit around the head a lot. Abusers love hitting and the head's a really good place to hit because you're about the right height 
<laughs> they, they like to hit you there. Therefore, you can take those walls away. And that will actually help you be able to think clearly and also help get rid of some of that blockage around you. These walls are invisible, but they're felt. And that's what I want you to understand. And if you're with other people, maybe you can tune in and sort of get a sense where their wall is or if they have walls. That will help you to, to tune into your own walls because it's much harder to tune into our own stuff. I just did some tapping around letting go of any walls from the abuse. I did tapping around letting go of any walls that I don't know about from the abuse because I can't remember. I did some meditation, let my walls go. I did some writing about letting my walls go around these areas. I kind of knew where they were a bit when I first started and just worked away at them. And I found a big difference in how I felt and I could actually now know that that area was working better. It was protection and it was a good idea at the time. But the trouble is we leave it there and then it affects all our relationships everywhere with our family with our friends at work the next door neighbor the wall is always there just know that if you do need to put a wall up for maybe you're with someone difficult you're quite able to put a wall up there of protection if you want to but then take it down because you shouldn't really live like that because what happens is when you block certain areas around the body like that eventually those areas aren't getting enough um, energy and and are not working properly therefore you land up will get sick in those areas and that's why we want to get rid of them because it sort of has a negative effect on the body when children are first born they don't have walls and they're running around free little souls and then as stuff happens we gather them up we'll also have very big walls with people who scared us, who have abused us, those walls will be quite large. We feel they're going to protect us, but I don't know how much protection they give you. I'm not sure about that. I know you might need to have those, call them walls anymore, but you might need to put a bit of protection up around those areas. That's how I'd rather you saw it, rather than see it as walls. Now just put a bit of protection. You're going to go and see, you know, your mom, and she says really hurtful, nasty stuff to you. So before you walk in the door, you just put a bit of protection around your heart because that's what you're trying to do so it doesn't deflect a little bit. The wall thing people don't talk about, but in some ways people know about it because they'll say things like, oh, I was just talking to the wall. <laughs> I was trying to talk to I was talking to the wall. They can feel the shutdown. And you can also feel people tune out to you. Their face will look kind of like not that they're looking at you, they look like they're thinking about something else and they'll also shut you down um, in the way that they'll stop the conversation or they'll leave the room. That's a, a form of a wall coming up and that might be a good thing for you to indicate on a personal level to you that you're bringing the wall up because you're doing these things. You don't want to go there, you don't want to talk about it. Do some work on your walls, let them go. I believe we knew how to put them up so we know how to take them down. <laughs> Sounds simple, doesn't it? But I actually feel it is that simple. We put them up. We don't know we're walking around with them. Now we take them down. And then everything in that area flows better and your life will be happier. Good luck with your walls and dissembling them in the days to come. Sending you lots of love and lots of light.